Welcome to Signing Day 2019 with head coach Kevin Sumlin. Today, the day, of course, that the Wildcats unveil their new signing class. It's an exciting day. It's kind of like Christmas early. But coach, you and your staff have been very busy, not only the last few weeks since the end of the regular season, but this started quite some time ago. Maybe just address uh, the work the staff goes through to put together a class. Well, you know, we, we got here late last year and, and really saved a couple of scholarships. And then, you know, there's the May evaluation period where we're able to get out in high schools, particularly in state, do those evaluations, check up on guys, you know, character, grades, everything else that goes to in fact, then you set up official visits. And this was the first year you could officially visit uh, prospects in the summer. So we had a few of those during the summertime uh, and really kind of got ahead of things uh, so that, you know, with the early signing date, which is, which is today, which is the only second one of its kind, uh, basically we looked to sign our whole class at, on early signing date. What in particular were you looking for? Can you generalize the type of athlete that you wanted to bring in? Well, it, it, not really because, you know, when you take over a program, you go through the roster, and every coach has got different needs and, and fills the roster differently. I think uh, uh, numbers are one thing when you have 85 scholarships, but you have to also uh, be realistic with, with talent level. And so um, just because there's a certain number at that position, they might not be as talented as, as you may want them to be. So. You know, we've got to fill in some gaps. I think that, uh, you know, our, our big thing this year was really trying to really trying to uh, create depth and uh, and talent in our offensive and defensive front. And I think we addressed that this year with some some big time junior college prospect, prospects. Is that one of the toughest thing for every college football program is to find those linemen, those big, strong linemen? Yeah, I think so. I think it uh, depends on where you are. But uh, certainly for us, you know, the junior college ranks, for us and, and for me as a head coach have been uh, really like free agency in, in the NFL because those guys are older, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're, they've only got a couple years of eligibility, but they're more mature and, and particularly when you get up front uh, where you need some big guys, you need big, strong, mature guys and, and uh, that's why we dipped in junior college this year. All right, it's mid-December and we're sitting outside on a 70 good, degree huh? day. I would say yeah. that w when you talk to recruits, when they come in on the visit, uh, this is a gorgeous campus. It's a great university. What are some of the other selling points? Well, this is a big time. I mean, you just look around in, in uh, uh, palm trees. It's mid-December. I've been places where uh, I actually saw some snow in Provo, Utah the other day. So in Salt Lake City and in and, and Kansas. So, you know, this when guys get on campus, our success rate is very, very high because of because of really a lot of things. I think, I think you know, the people of Tucson are, are, have been so friendly and are so friendly. Our, our student body uh, enjoys athletics and it's just a beautiful campus and our administration, um, our, our professors, everybody works hand in hand here and, and uh, you know, this weather doesn't hurt at all. Occasionally, there's a time when it does rain and starting very soon now, you will have a new indoor center, the Cole and Jeannie Davis uh, Sports Center, how will that benefit the football program? It's going to be awesome because, you know, it'll enable us to train year-round um, when it does rain or, or when there is some, some weather issues. We don't have to dance around uh, and, and practice, you know, uh, particularly when it comes to lightning. But, you know, I, I think it gives us uh, a couple different ways to train. Um, it, it, the new indoor facility is going to open up to our grass field, so we'll be able to utilize both facilities and with more room, but, but certainly uh, the weather will not be an issue because of the indoor, which, will, which can only help our training uh, ritual year round. So it's an exciting day as we meet the new Wildcats. What's ahead now, between now and spring practice and then the season opener, you and your staff and the, the players? Well, I think what, uh, what's going to be interesting is, you know, the early signing days really change things. Um, but we could have as many as 10 mid-year uh, student athletes on campus in January, um, not just the junior college guys, but, but early high school graduates. So, you know, you're, you're looking at a uh, possibility of probably one-eighth of your team uh, being a new team, being on campus in January and being able to work with them throughout the spring, through spring practice and, and through the summer. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, we're, we're really excited about all these guys. But when you're talking about 10 new guys uh, really coming in for spring, um, you know, that's, that's, that's a lot of guys that can make an impact real quickly. I say, needless to say, how much can you gain? That sounds like a tremendous advantage for the student athletes to be on campus that early. There's no doubt. You know, you've got 
spring practice, which you've got 15, but we also have the meeting time with, with two hours a week with student athletes. So all the installation, offensively, defensively, special teams, we can go through that even before before spring football. And then, you know, the summer bridge program with, with the summertime workouts, the lifting, the conditioning, the transition of, of, you know, high school to college, that is really all behind them when they, they get to the fall, where it used to be, you know, you just you started football and then all of a sudden the school's here. These guys have been used to it. You know, they've had a semester, they've had the summer, they've practiced. Uh, they know what the expectations are. It's a huge advantage. All right, an exciting day for Wildcat football and the University of Arizona. And thanks for joining us.